dirt, dust, grime, it's everywhere. But not for long. Introducing the revolutionary cleaning sensation called Crazy Daisy. What's that you say? It looks like a mannequin head. Look again. Crazy Daisy's hair is infused with state-of-the-art microfiber technology that can mop up your most epic messes. Spilled milk? No problem. Dirt? Gone. Cupcakes and ice cream? Cleans right up. Chicken nuggets covered in chocolate pudding? Adios. Listen to what people are saying about the Crazy Daisy hair mop. I want my money back! <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. No, no, not that one. The other one. Crazy Daisy? Uh, it's fine, I guess. Another satisfied customer. But wait, there's more. Order now and we'll throw in this attachable handle to help you clean those hard-to-reach places. All this can be yours for 10,000 easy payments of $1, plus $5,000 shipping and handling. Order me today! You'd be crazy not to! Crazy Daisy hair mop? David, is this you? Yup. Isn't it great? But hey, did you want to buy one? I, I got some out in my car. Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to buy one. Why? Is it because of the commercial? Because I know it wasn't my best performance. It's just that when the camera went on, I got all stiff and awkward. David, David, no, it's not because of the commercial. Then what is it? Is it the price? Don't worry. I'll give you the friends and family discount. I can knock a couple of dollars off of the shipping and handling. No, it's not the price either. Although $15,000 is ridiculously expensive. Then what is it? I mean, I'm not going to buy it because it doesn't work. I mean, all she did was push the mess around. Well, this is just the first version. I'm already working on a second generation called Crazier Daisy that has hair infused with nanofiber technology. David, David, stop. Just stop. I hate to tell you this, but it's not going to work. Hair is just not good for cleaning up messes. <sighs> yeah. You're probably right. By the way, where did you even get that idea from? From today's Bible story. You know, the lady used her hair to clean Jesus' feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. She did, but I think you're missing the point of the story. It's not about how to clean dirty feet. Then what's it about? Great question. Well. To answer that, though, I think we should read the story first. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video, then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Whoa, isn't that so interesting? That lady cried on Jesus' feet, then wiped the tears up with her hair. Not only that, she kissed his feet and poured perfume on them. Yeah. Now, that seems kind of strange to us, but back then, that's how someone showed honor to an important person. Okay, but here's what's kind of sad. So, there's this Pharisee named Simon who sees what's happening, and he thinks to himself, if Jesus is really a prophet, he would know this woman was a sinner, and he would never let her touch me. Right, and here's what's crazy. The Bible says that Simon thought that in his own head. He didn't even say it out loud, but Jesus knew what he was thinking. And so he told Simon the story of the two people who owed money. Okay, speaking of that story, let me see if I understand. So Jesus was saying that Simon was like the person who owed 50 coins 
because he had a little bit of sin. But the woman was like the person who owed 500 coins because she had a whole lot of big sins. That's right. God forgave both of them, but the sinful woman was more thankful and showed more love because she had more sins forgiven. That's so true. It is. And you know what? It makes me think of a challenge, and I think you're going to love it. Really? Why? What are we doing? Because it involves me shooting you in the face with a squirt gun. What? Why would I love that? Oh, sorry. Maybe I said it wrong. Okay, I meant to say that I'm going to love it. But anyway, here's how it works. You're going to put this seltzer tablet on your forehead with a rubber band. On go, I have to squirt the tablet until it dissolves enough to fall off. The challenge is for me to get the tablet to fall off of your forehead before the buzzer goes off. Oh, yay. Sounds like fun. I can't wait. That's the spirit. Let's get set up and take our places. Okay, David, are you ready? Do I have a choice? Nope. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, here we go! <laughs> Do you feel it? It's dissolving! Ah! Uh, oh! Oh, my I gosh. Can, I can hear it! Me too! Uh -huh. Oh, I can taste it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this. This is the best. Oh. <laughs> you got one right in my eye. Oh, no, sorry. Ah. Okay. It tastes like really bad soda. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's seltzer for you. Uh. Oh, there's a piece coming off. Oh, this is. I think we're getting close. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh. I might run out of water. Oh. oh, we're almost there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's almost there. I'm done. soaking wet. Soaking. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh. my favorite challenge ever. Mine too. Oh, my. Oh my gosh, it's still dissolving. It is? Yes, producer Jordan. Does this count? I think this counts. I got a thumbs up. I got a thumbs up. We, <laughs> we did it. We did it. Oh, Camille, you are right. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite challenge ever. You know, call me a crazy daisy, but that was actually more fun than I thought it would be. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, now, now, I didn't say that I liked it that much. Okay, I stand corrected. But here's why we did that. Imagine for a second that this container of water is God's forgiveness. And imagine that this little seltzer tablet is a sin. Look at what happens when I drop it into God's forgiveness. Whoa. Look at what's happening. It's bubbling and totally disappearing. That's right. That's what happens to our sins when we toss them into God's forgiveness. They totally disappear. God wipes them out. You know what? There's only one problem with this glass of water, though. It's way too small to give us a picture of God's forgiveness. In fact, our Bible verse for today gives us an idea of just how big God's forgiveness is. Take a look at this. You will completely wipe out the evil things we've done. You will throw all our sins into the bottom of the sea. Micah 7, 19. Do you see that? God's forgiveness is as big as the sea. When we bring our sins to him, it's like we're tossing the evil things we do into the ocean of God's forgiveness. That's so cool. Do you know how big the ocean is? It's really big. In fact, 70% of our planet is covered in oceans. That's most of the earth. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Mariana Trench. It's 36 thousand feet deep. That's so deep that if you threw Mount Everest into the ocean, it would cover the entire thing. 
In fact, you would have to swim down 7,000 feet to reach the tip of Mount Everest. Isn't that amazing? That's how big God's forgiveness is. It's as big and as deep as the ocean. Not only can it wipe out a little sin the size of a seltzer tablet, it can wipe out sins as big as Mount Everest. Hey, you know what? That makes me think of a question. Why do you think it's so important to ask God for forgiveness? Press pause and discuss. I think most of us probably knew that God's forgiveness could wipe out any sin. But sometimes we don't act like it. Sometimes we're too ashamed to ask God for forgiveness. We think, ugh, I just did the same sin for the one billionth time. I can't possibly ask God to forgive me. Yeah, or we think, I just did the Mount Everest of mess ups. God is going to be so mad. So instead of asking for forgiveness, we pretend like it never happened and just hope that God will forget about it. Right. But that's not what we should do. We should be like the woman in today's story. Even though she had done the Mount Everest of mess ups, she ran to Jesus. She threw her gigantic sin into Jesus's ocean of forgiveness, and he completely wiped it out. That's right. So no matter how many times you've sinned, no matter how big you've messed up, don't ever be afraid to ask Jesus for forgiveness. So good. And so true. Hey everybody, we had a blast hanging out with you and we can't wait to do it again. Yeah, we'll see you again next week. Oh man, I spilled water everywhere. Hey, 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 don't worry about that, Camille. I'll clean it up, okay? Bye everybody. Bye. No mess too big, no stain too tough. Crazy Days has got the magical stuff.